Hello everyone, Maron Hussein is here and um, I have a new tutorial how to create uh, furniture. I have this uh, piece of furniture, let's open it and let's see how can we create something like this. Alright, I will use Blender 3 to create this and before I start creating this, uh, let's go to my website because I have a free uh, Blender a tutorial for beginner if you did if you didn't know anything about blender or if you like uh, to know the principles all right so let's go there all right this is my website just type marwanpainter.com all right and then go to the school section and open it here in the school section i have uh, a bunch of tutorials and i have this blender from ground up uh, actually, this uh, course is for premium, but I shared a free videos for everyone. You can access it and you can watch uh, these tutorials uh, to uh, learn something about uh, Blender. And if you need more, you can check uh, this link right here. Click here if you want to grab the whole course. All right. So now let's go back to Blender and let's see how can we create this furniture fair thing that we need to do is I need to sublet the view to two view to add the image right here all right and work here so let's put the mouse at this corner right here and until the mouse become a uh, plus and click and drag to sublet this view to two and then go to the editor and change the edit editor from 3d viewport to image editor because we are we want to work with the image and there we go now let's go back to the folder and let's grab the image and drop it right here and that's it okay that's very cool now I need to analyze the image and I just need to see how can I create this it's similar to the cylinder I can start with the cylinder and I just need to see how many sides I have here so if I assume this number one so this one will be two three four five six so we have six sides and we have this shape here we need to create i can create one and i can duplicate it and rotate it until i got something like this and make some connection let's see in action how can we do this i have all of these stuff we don't need them just to grab them and hit delete and hit shift a before we add anything, I just forget to uh, check the unit. So go to the unit section here, scene properties, open the unit. I need to work with centimeter. So I will switch the length from meter to centimeter. And uh, okay, uh, now let's hit shift A to open the add menu and let's add a cylinder. Now we have the cylinder right here. After that, open the setting of the cylinder and let's make some change. We said we need six sides, so change the vertices count to six and hit enter, and now we have six. And the radius, here we, we have 100 centimeter about the radius. I think uh, the radius here is about uh, 30 centimeter. That means the diameter, all the diameter is about 60 centimeter. I can add 60, so I, I just assumed that. So let's change this to 30 and then hit enter. And for the depth, I will make this 60 centimeter. So diameter 60 and the depth 60 as well. All right, now I got a shape like this. All right, that's very cool. Okay, now the, uh, the uh, after that, uh, I will come to the edit mode just hit tab to go to the edit mode and uh, maybe we can select this face because I just need one face and delete the other so I will hit control I to invert the selection and hit X and choose face by the way X to open the delete menu and face to delete these faces okay now after that I need to add an edge here and edge here so hit control R to add one edge here when you hit Control R and hit left click to confirm it, the edge will follow your mouse. Hit right click to leave it in the center. Control R again to repeat that 
right here now let's go to the vertex mode grab these vertices hit M to open the merge menu and merge as center and those as well grab them hit M open the merge menu merge at center now we got this design cool now I will grab this vertex hold here to grab this vertex and I guess going to move them just a little bit like this because I think we have some band here in the middle I need to uh, I consider that so I will grab those hit G to the X to move those cast a little bit not too much all right that's great now I just uh, finish that tab out and exact and now select this and hit shift D to take a copy and after that hit R to rotate this copy but rotate this to the Z so R and then Z and now I got this but what you need to do is you need to hold control to snap the rotation and rotate this almost I rotate this too much so I will uh, it's almost uh, let's see how much we need to rotate it about 60 degree I don't know yeah 60 degree that will work and now I got this after that hit shift R to repeat that rotation and duplication couple time until you get a result like this all right cool so we got this now I will select and grab everything and hit control J to merge all of these pieces so now they become one piece okay that's very cool now I can tap the edit mode and hit A to select all the vertices and hit M to open the merge menu and choose merge by distance before I do that I will tell you why because I have a vertex right here for this geometry and at the same time I have a vertex right here for this geometry I need to merge those here so that's very important to merge these vertices for all of these pieces so hit a select all the vertices and by the way you don't need to select all the vertices uh, you can uh, actually you can go to the wireframe his Z and grab those and merge them uh, but for me uh, I will hit a because when I hit M and choose merge by distance that is the distance will be very small so it just will walk these vertices and ignore the other vertices because we have far distance between those I think that you got the idea so now we just merge those now if I grab one and hit G the two geometry sharing with this one vertex so that's the first thing after that what we need to do is we need to grab each three vertices and hit F to add one face and we need to repeat this scenario for all of these pieces all right so let's do this here and here as well sorry grab this one hit F cool grab those hit F hit F that's very cool all right so the same scenario here and here as well All right, now I've finished. I got this result. All right, now I will tap out and I will go to the front view. You can hit number one from the number to jump to the front view or you can go to the view and viewport and front view. I just need to put this above uh, the zero level like this for now temporarily. So now we got something. Okay, what is the next step? All right, now I need to duplicate this uh, uh, this piece. So let's see how many uh, section we have here. If we assume that this is one section like this, so we have this one, and we have two, and we have three and half. Okay, so three and half. 
all right so let's grab this hit shift d to duplicate it to the z hit shift d and then z and take one copy right here after that i need to snap this new copy to the original one so i will go to the snap setting here and i will choose vertex snap and then that's it and then hit g to the z and hold control and snap it so now it's okay so now we have one and we have two and we need a half all right to reach this level okay i will grab this and tap to the edit mode and let's go to the face and let's select these faces hold shift and grab those something like this and i will duplicate this one hit shift d for the z and take a copy right here and hit G to the Z, hold control and snap it like this. That's very nice. All right, that's cool. Now I can go to the wireframe and grab these faces, all of them, and hit Z and excite, and then hit Shift D to the Z and take another cube right here, and then hit G to the Z, hold control to snap it and snap it right here okay but these faces right here i don't want them so i will separate them hit z to go to the wireframe all right and then deselect those hold control and make a selection like this and keep focusing on these faces after that hit p and then s to separate them and now we got this shape so now we have something similar to what we have right here. All right, uh, now uh, if you like, you have the decision, if you want to scale those and make those a bit uh, uh, shorter, you can scale those to the Z if you like. You got this option or, or you can leave them like that or you can scale those to the y and x for example s and then shift z to cancel the z axis you can scale them like this if you want to make this uh, wider but for me i will maybe i can scale this just to a little bit to the z not too much something maybe like this and hit control a and apply the scale all right that's very cool okay now let's grab these pieces and cancel this one for now don't grab it and hit control j to make them one piece and then tap to the edit mode and let's merge some vertices okay because for example if you hit number one to switch to vertex mode and if you move this this vertex is not merged so i will hit a to select all the vertices and then hit m and merge by distance and now we have 12 vertices removed or merged all right, so now we have one piece. All right, that's very cool. After that, maybe I can tap out and grab this piece and hit H to hide it temporarily to work with this one. So grab this, tap to edit mode, go to the edge, hit number two, and Alt click to grab this entire edge loop and hit F to fill it. And maybe this one, Alt click and then F to fill it. Fill this Alt click F. And this one as well, alt click and then F to fill it. Okay, now is the time to cre create these doors that we have here. So let's go to the face at number three and all right, let's start for example, let's see how can we create those. So let's try to analyze it. So we have a door right, right here. All right, so uh, in the middle we have one triangle pointing down and we, we have one here and one here on the each side so we need to pick face like this so for me here we have this triangle pointing down and one here and one here so we can start with this one I mean the one that we have here when you select it hit P to open the separate menu and then S to separate it so now we got this the first one all right, after that, uh, let's pick the second one. So this triangle that's pointing down, 
and we have two on each side so this one will be the second door p and then s all right let's rotate this just a little bit because by the way uh, they are not aligned like this we have uh, some tilt here the door is, goes like this so keep that in your mind All right, so now let's pick these faces as well and then hit P and S to separate them. And now we got this. So we have now, now this number one, two, and three. Okay, now maybe we can give these doors a thickness. So let's start with this one. Hit slash from the number to isolate it. Or you can go to view and local view, toggle local view. I just need to work on this one alone select it and i need to give it a modifier so go to the modifier here and add a solidify to give this a thickness so how much we need to add here maybe two centimeter thickness i think that's will work all right so now we got a result like this make sure that the scale is one if i go to the item the scale is one and that's correct all right, now hit slash again to excite, and maybe I can grab this and give it the same modifier. So to make that, uh, this quick, I will select this door, hold shift to grab this, the first one with the modifier, and go to the arrow, this arrow, and choose Kobe to select it. And now we just transform the, the same modifier from this to this. The same scenario for the third one, grab this, hold shift to grab this, go to the arrow, copy to select it and there we go that's great all right uh, now uh, we need to give this a thickness okay so let's grab this it's like to isolate this piece I just uh, noticed that I have some overlapping here happening between these faces, so I need to fix this because it's not uh, correct. Maybe I can grab this door and, I don't know, maybe I can uh, tap to the edit mode and manipulate these faces. I will apply the solidify first, so I can reach the side when I go to the edit mode. So apply the solidify, control A, and then tap. And now I can grab this vertex, for example, and this one. And maybe we can move them down. Or even maybe I can grab these faces and scale them in the center just a little bit to push this down just a little bit. And now let's hit slash to excite. And now we don't have any overlapping anymore. Okay, so let's grab this, hit slash to isolate it. And now let's give this a thickness. But I don't need to add a thickness for this piece so I will separate it okay tab to the edit mode and then go to the wireframe grab this piece hit PS to separate it and then tab out grab this one hit Z and excite to go to the solid uh, view and now let's go to the modifier and add solidify and let's add two centimeter and what else maybe we can activate even thickness all right something like this and now we got this result let's deactivate and let's see before and after all right i will leave it off i like this result all right that's cool Here we have a nice option, it's called only rim. If you activate this, you will get the solidify, but just for the outer edges, the rim. Because in the end of the day, I don't need to add inner faces here. All right, so I can activate the only rim and get the extrusion that I need, but it will cancel the inside faces. So this is before and this is after. All right, let's zoom in here so you can understand what will happen. It will delete the inner faces. So I will accept this result. 
and let's hit slide to excite and now we got this uh, design okay after that I will hit alt X to bring my piece that I hide it and I will tap to the edit mode okay so, and then maybe we can grab some faces here okay uh, let's grab all of the faces hit A and then hit I to insert and then hit I again to insert each face but if you do that, you will get one problem. The egg that we have in the middle will affect the, will uh, change the result that we need. So in this case, what I will do is I will hit Control Z and go to the egg number two and grab these edges in the middle. Hold Shift and select them one by one. Sorry, this one. And this one as well. Hit Control X to dissolve them. And now we just end it with these faces. Hit A now and then hit I to insert. And insert this just a little bit. Something like this. Maybe 1.3 centimeter. And then hit X, F to delete these faces. And now this result, I will give it a solidify. Go to the modifier list. Add a solidify to give this a thickness maybe I don't know two maybe all right two I think uh, it will work make sure that you don't have any overlapping and yeah there we go it will work and I will accept it hit control a if you want to apply it all right so now the design is finished we just need to give it a base here from inside so I will grab this tab and go to the face hit number three Grab this face, hit I to insert this inside just a little bit, almost right here. And then you can um, hit E to extrude this, something like that, just a little bit. And then I grow the selection, hit Control plus to grow the selection. And separate these faces, hit P and then S, because we need to give this a different material. All right, so, all right, that's cool. Now we got this result. All right, so I will end this video because it's become a very long video. I will end it and I will compile it in the next videos. So see you next.